Radio Shouty. This one was uh, from Bone Crusher, your, your partner. He says, tell you a mm-hmm. tell. Oh, shout, 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 Bone. <laughs> yeah. oh, he, he wants to know, um, without us regurgitating all the uh, the history of you and, and, and Left Eye and Tupac and MC Breed and all the great artists that, that you supported back in the day, uh, he wants to know, do you still have any music with some of these artists, uh, which we call vault music, and if you do, would you ever release it at some point? Hmm. That's an awesome question because uh, I have a lot of material um, and I'm planning on releasing here in the next uh, week, uh, two mixtapes with about 25 songs on each one of them. Um, unfortunately, guys that I had songs with, cats that I had songs with are past. Um, and so I'm, I'm not going to release those which I had songs with Pac, I had tons of songs with Breed um, and other MCs as well. Um, I even got recordings with DLC voice on it. Um, what, know, is a, is the original, his original voice? Uh, nope, it was right after he had, they after came the up. I, yeah, right after the accident, Breed brought, brought him up to the house and uh, uh, DLC was actually at the house for that. Uh, those videos, they shot more than just get yours, get mine at the house. They shot a lot of videos, but <clears throat> excuse me, but um, I can't, uh, I can't think of what was lost in the house in the fire because remember we had that remarkable studio in the basement, Absolutely. and uh, it had a lot of material. Uh, and back then, you know, everything was on reels, two inch reel, and so um, we haven't went to the digital world just yet, and. You know, I'm going to release a lot of material, um, you know, um, on, on myself, old songs. And uh, um, if anybody wants dope hooks, dope verses, ghost writing, you know, I'm here for all that. And, you know, I'm a pioneer in the game. And, and you know, we earn stripes in it. Like, we were studio junkies, studio babies. I remember it's two hours before kickoff. And we get ready to play the New York Jets. And I'm I'm on the north side of Atlanta in the studio mm, you oh, know, yeah. trying, to fi- trying to finish a song. You yeah. know, um, I had song. I had studios next to Too Short, right That's next cool. to Too Short. I had studios on East Side, South Side, North Side, Bankhead, uh, Decatur. I had yeah. studios off of Candler Road, you know, and um, you know, that's why it amazes me too. I'm jumping off the track a little bit on these guys having all this animosity towards each other, man. You know, if we had animosity back in the day towards each other, it was, you know, I see you face to face, you know, let's, we can't talk about it, it's issues, but we about, about getting this bread, man, and getting this money and, and making it back home to these kids and babies. And, you know, y'all so young, you're making great music and, um, you know, it's a new style of music and, you know, you right. still got a couple of MCs still spitting, <clears throat> you know, the old school uh, melodic bars or whatever, but uh, you got to move and change with time. And I think when we were coming along, um, I was way more than just a football player. Um, I was a friend, um, a colleague, um, a street associate to a lot of a lot of cats in Atlanta and a lot of cats that weren't even from Atlanta that moved to Atlanta trying to get on in the music game. So I was laying next to the number one really rapper in the world, and she was a female, and they would never play a song on the radio. Ooh, so um, I, I want to get into that. I want to get into that real quick, Dre, before I send it back to Beehive. Um, I cannot let you go without th- this story right here cannot be written in, I mean, this this is Hollywood. For people that don't know out there, um, we all know, we don't know from Georgia Tate, you and Left Eye's relationship, we don't have to get into all that, but Dre, right. Right. please tell the people out here what your current wife name is and also <laughs> how you guys met. This is, this is, this is oh, man. Oh man, you know what? Um, let's go back to that clown. I was talking about I wasn't coaching. I was doing a count uh-huh. about 14 years ago, and uh, Dion couldn't get to it. Sanders, he couldn't get to him, and because he was getting obligated, he was getting this thing going on TV, mm-hmm. and uh, he 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 told the guys that you know I'd probably be a great fit for it. And it was the U.S. Army All American game. And it was a uh, football university, uh, largest camp, uh, largest high school all-star game in the country. Um, 
on on TV and before it even came on the TV, it was, it's huge. All the guys that's playing in the pros from the last 15 years have, have, have went to that camp in some some type of form, FBU camp, and I was running the camp. And we were out in Arizona, and I was on my last trip, and I was on a tour, 23-city tour. And I was kind of tired, man, and I said, you know what, my homeboy called me, used to play with me at the Chiefs, Mark McMillan, was like, man, get your old ass up, let's go, we out. So we went out, knowing we had to catch that red eye back, I had to catch red eye back to uh, Miami, because that's where I was living at. And um, went out, man, and went to the bathroom, and, and tried to slide through, you know, some people keeping these shoulders, you know, tucked, so I don't get a little confrontation, all that. Back then, I was still beating my depression and CTE, all, you know, the NFL damages. You know, I might swing on them. I, I might swing on a motherfucker in the club. So, um, you know, I just made it to the bathroom. Then when I came back, she was still staying in the same place. So, I, you know, I just shot my shot. And for some reason, I said, in my, in my heart and my chest, it felt like I was getting old or something, or I was losing my, my swag. And so I shot my shot, and um, I won. Can you tell me what the name, name uh, is? Uh, hey, 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 I don't know how that happened. I, I, I got kind of spooked a little bit, too. Her name was Lisa Lopez, way, wow. out, in, way out in Arizona. She, wow. spelled it with the, she, spelled, she spelled it with the Z, though. And, uh, you know. I just kind of told her a little bit in her ear because she was with her twin sister and a couple more good friends. I just said, you know, look, I'm a little famous and this Google thing, you know, that's when as soon as you say somebody's name, they just Google your ass, right? <laughs> so I was like, I really didn't want to tell her my name and I really didn't want to say nothing. Plus I had that child support bullshit over my head going on. And, um, you know, I was trying to get get rid of and handle all my business and, and then get, get back on my 10 toes. And in the process, I just didn't want to tell her my name because I know if she Googled my name right at the top of the engine search, my name was going to come up about being being chased by these people by for no damn reason. I didn't get these people millions of dollars and they still chase me. And so instead of saying it that way, I just said, look, I'm a little bit famous. So if you, you know, you Google me a little bit. If you Google <laughs> me or something. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, she said, that's cool, but look at this license. I looked at the license and, you know, and they was already giggling about it. And lo and behold, her name her name was Lisa Lopez, man. Well, and y'all are married now today. How many kids do y'all have, Andre? Man, we got four beautiful girls, 10, 8, 10, 8, 7, 10, 8, 7, 10, 8, oh, 7, you know. 6. You know they watching you now. <laughs> 10, 8, 7, 6, and 4. Yo, I got some wow. beautiful girls, man. My wife, my wife dropped dead gorgeous. You know, I had to, I had to take my chance and shoot my shot, man. And um, it was a beautiful angel in disguise, man. She oh, got me back good. on my got me back on my feet. You know, uh, you know, like they say, you know, the best way you can prove somebody talking trash, you know, and this and that or whatever. You know, don't know, don't know broke man be building no houses from the ground up. 